Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is day four of Christmas packaging. And um, I wanted to share with you this cute little holder for chapstick or a little lotion bottle. Um, super easy to make. You just need a couple pieces of cardstock and pattern paper. And I've got this cute pattern paper. It's part of the C's um, C's O greetings, uh, from close to my heart. And this, um, the stamp is not from the set, but, um, it's one that I thought was really cute and I liked it. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're going to need is a piece of cardstock, um, for the base. This needs to be six and a half by eight inches. You're going to also need a small piece of cardstock um, about one and a half inches by two and three quarter inches. And then your little pattern paper would be one and a quarter inch by two and a quarter inches that will layer on top of that. And it is coordinating. If you can see, there's a little bit of navy blue splatter on here, which goes with my um, okay. sapphire paper. And then I have right. two pieces, yeah, a scalloped good, yeah. piece and a circle piece for a tag. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take this cardstock and you're gonna score it. And you're gonna score on the six and a half inch side. So here's the six and a half inch side. And we're gonna score, I'm just gonna adjust my light here. I'm getting, I feel like I'm getting a shadow. Whoop, one second here. Not sure. I'm not sure where that's coming from, but okay. So you know what? I think it's this other light. I'm gonna turn that off. I don't know if that's better or worse. Oh, it's probably okay. All right, <laughs> six and a half inch side. You're gonna score at two and a half and four. On that side, I'm gonna do two and a half again. I want to make sure I got it. Okay, then you're gonna turn it to the eight inch side and you're gonna score at two and a half, four, and six and a half. All right, so now you're gonna have, you're done with the scoreboard. You don't need to score anymore. And you're gonna have some squares and some rectangles there. You're gonna rotate the cardstock 180 degrees so that the inch and a half by the six and a half section, so that would be this top section here, is on the left. Then you're gonna snip off these two corner pieces. You do not need those anymore. I mean, actually, you could save those because if you're making a coordinating box, this piece is the exact same size as this piece of cardstock for the, the front. So you can totally use that for another box of coordinating, you know, switch it. That's kind of what I'm doing here. I switched colors. So instead of doing what the light blue base, um, and the dark color, I'm doing a dark colored base and a light color. So I just flip flopped it so I could get, you know, a different look. From here, we're going to cut, cut up the center pieces just to the middle score line here. We just need to make some flaps. So you're going to do that on both sides. Okay, all right, and I like to fold in my pieces. You do not need to fold the tiny one up here. Leave that one not bent. Fold them all on the score lines. And then we're gonna need our cutter. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut we're going to cut off um, 
we're gonna make this an inch and a half. So we're not gonna cut the center one, so we'll fold that over. We're gonna cut these two. So line it up on this score line at inch and a half. Um, is that, yep, yeah. okay, so inch and a half. And we're gonna trim those down. These are scrap and those. Same with this side, we're not cutting the center one. So move that aside. And we're gonna cut these. So line up this score here at inch and a half. And we're gonna trim those down so that these are um, an inch and a half. Or actually, did I do that wrong? I think I did that wrong, sorry. Put this on the, wait, what did I do? I think I did it right, let me see. Let me see here, <laughs> I did it right. <laughs> Cut, cut off an inch and, a, inch and a half. As long as that matches and they all match, we do it right, I guess. Um, yeah, so you line this up an inch and a half. Um, so that way th these pieces are inch and a half wide. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. If not, this tutorial is on splitpoststampers.com. So um, all the instructions are there with pictures and stuff. Um, I just like to do my own take on things, so that's why I like to share a video with my take, my experience of how I felt about the project. Then you're going to take this little flap here in a one inch punch, and I think I accidentally folded it. I didn't want to, but I think I accidentally did. That's the handle. Um, if you don't like a circle look for the handle, you don't have to even have a handle, but... I think it's cute. Um, and now we're ready for our sticky strip. Make sure you have some really good sticky strip or really good adhesive. And we're going to put this on these flaps here. So just four pieces. One more. Awesome. And yeah, we don't need that anymore. And if you have a hard time getting these little strips off, you can use your snips to just kind of get under there. Sometimes that works a little better. Sometimes it's better to just use your nails, but I don't know. So I have found um, you can put very small things in this. So it's, it's a cute package, I think, if you just need something small to put something in, um, to put something small in. And I, I really like it for like a chapstick or a hand sanitizer. So you're gonna fold the middle ones up first. And I like to fold the back side last. So I fold the middle in and then I'm gonna fold the front up and just line it up and press. Same with this one, line it up and press. Uh, line it up. And press, line this up, and press. Awesome. That one's a little, that's a little off. Not sure what happened there, but still works. A cute little box. Okay, love it. All right, so next is your pattern paper. This is, um, like I said, the season, season. Let me see how I'm saying it wrong, I think. Seas and greetings. So it's like sea, season greetings, but it's S-E-A-S because it's like beach theme and there's sand dollar, but on the other side, it's like snowflakes. I do like the beach side, but I'm going with the sand dollar. I mean, the snowflake on this particular one. So there's my pattern paper on my light colored 
coordinating cardstock. And I'm going to put this on the front. Ah, that's way crooked. I think I cut it real quick at that. It's homemade. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's super cute. I like the way that just pops off. But then on my tag, I'm going to have the sapphire. And I think for this one, I'm going to stamp it. And I'm going to stick it right on the front like that. Um, I'm just not sure what I want to put. Something small. I need a tiny greeting. So let's see. Um... I think if Merry Christmas, oh, see my Merry Christmas doesn't really fit. Um, let me see. I didn't really plan this very well. So I think I have some tiny ones here. Um, yeah, I like the forest critters, but nothing near as small. All right, going back to this. I have a, I think this Merry Christmas is a little smaller. Let's see. Um, it's going to barely fit. It might be, a, it might be a little off, but it's okay. close. It's very, very close. Stamp off a little bit. I get a good inking here. Yeah, it's going to be off a little bit, but sometimes I'm okay with it if it's not terrible, terribly off, and if you can still understand what it says, I'm okay with it. Some people, that would bother the heck out of them, and if it does, you can just do a bigger circle. I already had this one made, and I'm good with it. And then I'm just going to layer it on this tiny scalloped. And then I'll just throw a dimensional. On the back. And I'll put that right there so you can still see the snowflake on top. So cute. So if you need another tag, you could always put one up here, but I think that's cute on the front like that. I mean, if you don't want it, want it like that, you just make like a separate tag that you can um, hook onto whatever you're putting inside. Um, I also find that a shooter fits really well for this and it's really cute. I mean, that would be, how cute would that be on someone's desk, you know, where you can hang it somewhere, but I think that's really cute too. All right, there you go. Thank you for watching, guys, and you have a great Christmas. Don't forget to like my video and subscribe.